Crystal from Pineapple Papers and today is Tuesday so I am going to use the Take 5 Tuesday on the Scrapbook Issues um, blog and they have several things to pick from and so I did go ahead and start with five. I may add a little bit extra. I'm not quite sure. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the grid design idea and I think that'll make it a little easier for me. I'm gonna use stitching and I'll use some real stitching, not some faux stitching. And then um, the next one is pattern paper, which I don't really know if I could do a scrapbook layout without pattern paper, but I'm gonna use this Chamel Star Shine um, six by six paper pad. And then the next one is enamel dots. So I've pulled two sets of enamel dots, this set from Recollections and this from Eyelet Outlet and Brad's. And then the last thing that I'm for sure going to use is paint. And I bought these Ina Wakely Media Heavy Body Acrylic Paints in Tangerine and Turquoise. And I've never actually used them, so I hope they're still okay. They're from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale. And I do have the Ephemer Pack um, from Chamel, so I'm going to use those. And then I went through what was on my desk, and I have a bunch of bits and bobs in here. Not really sure if any of them will make it to the page, but they all should at least get a little trial. So... I am going to put you on fast forward and we'll get started on day two. Okay, so first I have to apologize that um, I said scrapbooking issues. The uh, take five was actually from paper issues. So to get started, um, I have this leftover piece of paper that I gutted from the Create Paper Random Collection. And it's kind of a black, chevron um, type and so I don't have any white paper cardstock left so I've taken some of the old cardstock that I won't use like this particular one that's funny letters and neon green so I just am using the back side so I went through the Chamel paper pad and I picked out four papers that I liked and that's what I'm going to use for my grid pattern. The picture I've chosen is a horrible picture. It is a picture of my sister-in-law and I and it was when we were in Vegas and we went and saw Cirque du Soleil O and it was the only picture we took because you can't take any pictures in there. Um, but we had a great time, and so I want to document that even though it's not the greatest picture. So I have taken the four chamel pieces of paper, and I have cut them down to four and a half by four and a half. That way it gives me a little bit of an edge around my four by four picture. So then I'm just trying to decide what order I want them in, and which block my photo is gonna go on. So I just got a pencil and I'm just marking the corners so I kinda have an idea of where they're gonna be before I start painting. And I wasn't sure how I wanted to apply the paint with a paintbrush, but um, I've seen several people using a palette knife and I like the texture that that gives and that orange was really bright. So I just decided, okay, I'm just gonna do one little strip of that in the left lower corner and I'm gonna get the turquoise out and I don't know why my camera's not focusing so hopefully it comes back shortly. And then I'm gonna do the, tan the turquoise up there in the top and I love the turquoise. So I've kind of put two of the squares back on so I can kind of see and I decided that the one side was not going to be enough paint so I'm going to do two sides of the square both of them just in the upper right and the lower left 
and then I went to take it to dry it and I took it to my sewing machine and I sewed around the white block and then each individual pieces of paper and that is my stitching aspect so then I'm going to back my photo with some of this turquoise tissue paper which my little scissors did not want to cut very well and my focusing looks like it's finally getting better so I really apologize for that I love this floral I think that's probably my favorite one in the entire collection and I just wanted to off center my photo because I noticed that when I put it straight on that it was hiding not only the paper but the sewing so then I couldn't remember where I had these squares to be honest so I just knew that I had the flower at the top and then the stripe um, on the bottom left so I popped both of the painted squares up with foam adhesive and then the other two I just adhered directly to the background. I did use my T square ruler to line them up. Normally I don't mind things but I think that the grid pattern really needs to look a little equal. So this was a great invention. I just got one of these from my best friend Amber because I introduced her to YouTube videos and she saw everybody was using them and I said don't they look wonderful and then poof the next time I saw her we both had one so thank you to Amber for that and thank you to YouTube for showing us what wonderful tools we were missing so I couldn't just let the squares be the squares so I had these extra cutoffs from when I did the original cut and I'm just putting them behind to give them a little bit of an extra layer now the embellishing I did have to turn the camera off for a while because I knew I had the tickets from the show somewhere so I had to go rummage through my closet to see if I can find them I was very lucky to find one of them and a receipt, but it still kind of looks like I have both tickets. So then I had pulled out all this ephemera and I was having a really hard time trying to figure out where everything was going. So it doesn't really look like it because they turned the camera off and otherwise this process video would have been probably a half an hour to 45 minutes long sped up because I just couldn't decide how to decorate these squares. I really felt like the the grid design was going to be much easier to do, but it wasn't. <laughs> so I did get a chance to use quite a bit of ephemera, which I love to do. So in the lower right hand corner that Chamel piece with the heart constellation says find your path and then that little um, acetate piece says imagine and that is from the same that adventure speech bubble was the last piece I had um, on a sticker sheet from somewhere but I I had already cut it apart, so I'm not sure exactly where it was. The flower, I think, is from a Maggie Holmes collection. The, the gold piece, I'm not sure where that one came from. And then by the picture, I added um, a ticket that says one-way ticket. I added another acetate piece up there that's got a star with kind of a sunburst pattern and then just another star and then in the left upper 
that wood veneer piece is a Heidi Swap piece and it says you are here the make magic happen came from the Chamel piece and that flower I don't know where that came from and then the bottom left has let's go on an adventure from Chamel and then that big big gym piece I'm not sure where that one's from either so then I just remembered at the very end oh I have to get my enamel dots on there because that was one of the five things that I had chose so I made sure that that happened and here are some close-ups and I'll have some picture close-ups as well at the end so I hope you enjoyed this. I'm really enjoying doing one video a day. And I hope that you continue to enjoy your scrappy week. And I will see you tomorrow with another process video. I want you to remember to wear your crown. And I'll see you tomorrow.